Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is a little countdown because I made a compilation video of skills that you need to be working on this summer. I get tons of questions about it. So I'm gonna list some of the skills and videos that I've made of things you need to be working on this summer before you try out for your volleyball team. This is the perfect time to prepare. And my coach used to say to me, the summer is for learning and the season is for playing. So let's talk about some of the skills that I think you need to work on in no particular order that you need to work on this summer. Let's get right into it. So my name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. Now I made this video because I'm getting a lot of new subscribers that are not familiar with my channel. And a lot of us are trying out for volleyball, whether that's because you were inspired by an anime or you have a family member or friend who plays, you're all welcome here. So I compiled some of my videos and I'm gonna put the links in the description of skills that you need to be working on this summer. And these are the foundational skills that you should be practicing before you get on the volleyball team. So let's get right into it. You want to utilize your shoulders. You're going to drop your shoulders slightly to get to a different angle and your platform's gonna angle that way. You also wanna utilize the platform height. So you're gonna see me soon use my platform height to control the height of the ball, how high, how low, the direction. So your platform really does control a lot of aspects about the ball. I suggest playing a little bit around with it so that way you can see the different directions you can go and the different things you can do passing a volleyball. Setter's hands. And setter's hands are ball shaped. You want to shape them like you're shaping around a ball. That is what they are, they are ball shaped. They're evenly apart and ball shaped. So I like to say, the, open a window to your eyes. So here, you're gonna see a window to the eyes. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Ball shaped. So what you can do is put both of your hands together, round them up, ball shaped, ball shaped. So take a moment to practice that. Put your hands up, open that. Fingers evenly spread. Keep your fingers evenly spread. Don't keep your fingers like this. Up and open. Now, if you haven't watched my overhand serve tutorial, remember, we're gonna go bow, arrow, step, and we're gonna serve stepping into it. A lot of people I see just come here and they just hit into it. Remember your step into it. You wanna put your power forward, that way you can get the serve over. We don't wanna hit the ball and just go and fall flat. We wanna get all of our power into the serve. Tip number three, your arm. Do you have noodle arm? When I was playing volleyball when I was younger, I had noodle arm a lot. When I hit, I had noodle arm. When I served, I had noodle arm. And it took me a while to combat that. That's why I'm here to tell you about it. So, when we first start learning about our three-step approach, sometimes we tend to stutter because we don't know the differentiation between each step. It goes short, long, short, then jump. And that's when you attack the ball. So you really have to take some time to practice your approach. That way you understand for yourself how you need to transition off the 10 foot line. So that way you know exactly where you need to be on the court to approach the ball. So there's also a speed that you need to have for an optimal approach. We're gonna go over that next by looking at the feet. pass it and then you're going to set it back to the target. That way we're working on two skills at the same time. Number one, ball control, and number two, setting it back to the partner with an uncontrollable pass. So the better your pass, the better your set. So make sure to take that time to pass it the best you can so that way you can really focus on those setter's hands to make a great set.
so it begins. Now, the jump squat is one of my favorite exercises. I like to do this in the gym. I like to do this when I'm working out at home. It's a great, great, great quad strengthening exercise, especially if you want to add just a little bit more intensity. I have two ways you can do this. You can do it with hands clasped, or you can do it with your hands touching the ground, kind of like you would if you were holding your platform. I hope that you like this video and this is something that can really help you. A lot of you guys are trying out or you're going to be joining your team again. This is some great things that you can be doing. It is never too late to practice. So get somebody with you, practice. But also I wanna let you know that my volleyball bracelets in my Etsy store are restocked. So I really hope that you get one and that way you can be all volleyball decked out. So please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.